Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Sonia. In this video, I will give you an introduction to memory forensics. We will start with understanding what computer memory is. Let's assume you have a Word document stored within your documents folder. When you click on the document to view it, a lot of activity happens in the background. The file is first brought from the hard disk into memory, and then it is displayed to you. The computer memory is a special region which temporarily holds data relevant to recent activity on the system. When a computer is powered down, data present in memory is lost. When a computer is involved in a cyber incident, the top priority is to identify recent activity on the system. The contents of computer memory is of great importance. This is where memory forensics comes in. Memory forensics is the technique of acquiring data from a computer's memory region, preserving it, and processing it for evidence to identify recent suspicious activity on the system. The data acquired from a computer's memory region is referred to as a memory dump. Within a memory dump, it is possible to find significant evidence that would otherwise not be found on that computer. Some examples of such evidence are encryption keys, malicious hidden processes and network connections, passwords, etc. As a computer is being used, the contents of the memory keep changing. So, when is a good time to acquire the memory dump from an affected computer? Memory acquisition is typically performed at the start of the investigation, before the collection of other evidence. This is to ensure that the memory on the affected computer is collected in the state it was found in. The digital forensic professional proceeds to acquire the memory dump carefully using special tools. It is preserved upon acquisition. Then using special memory analysis tools, the memory dump is processed for evidence. Since data present in computer memory is lost when the system is powered off, when a computer is suspected to be involved in an incident, it is extremely critical to keep the system in the powered on state until the digital forensic professional acquires the memory. Once you understand what memory forensics is, why it is performed, and when it is performed, you can learn how to perform memory forensics in your home lab. MCSI's library has an entire section of articles dedicated to memory forensics. You can find the link to that section in the description box below. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!